I don't believe he'd be capable of sitting down to do an interview like this. It'd be impossible. I don't when believe I debated Gavin Newsom. Interview. I said, your problem is the guy that you are bragging about yeah. could not have this exchange. Yeah, he could not do this interview. He couldn't do an interview where you ask even a few questions. And I said this morning, I say it loud and clear. You should take a cognitive test. A president should take a cognitive. Now, they say that's uh, unconstitutional. For whatever reason, it's unconstitutional. But I took two of them. And... I aced both of them, I'm very proud to say, meaning I got it all right. Ronnie and they're Jackson. not that, they're not, Ronnie Jackson did one. They're not that easy. You know, they, they show you the first ones are pretty easy. And then you get up, you get into the middle category. Then you get to the end questions. And very few people could answer those questions. They're, very, they're actually tough. very tough. I've seen the toughs. But, but I think it's important that there be some form. We have this man negotiating nuclear weapons with Putin and with uh, President Xi, and he has no idea what's going on. And he can't find his way off a, a platform when he's speaking. You have five stairs and he ends up walking into a wall. And whenever I imitate him, they say Trump had a hard time getting off a platform. I do. Every once in a while, I'll do things out of sarcasm because I love sarcasm. But politically, it never works because they always turn it around on you. But I'll tell you what. Uh, it's not an age thing. But something's going on. And we can't take a chance. This is the most dangerous time in the history of war. We have an incompetent president. Now, I used to treat him, and you know that I called you. I said you should take it easy on him. By the I way, used to call you. Truth. Donald Trump's concerns regarding national security, particularly in light of a leader's perceived incompetence during crucial negotiations. It emphasizes the importance of acknowledging potential risks associated with such perceptions. Evaluating cognitive tests, discussing aging issues, and scrutinizing political leaders extend beyond mere validation of cognitive assessments. Ethical implications arise, especially concerning age discrimination and constitutional factors. The public's perception of a leader's cognitive abilities significantly influences political discourse and public trust. Trump's advocacy for a cognitive test aligns with conservative values of leadership accountability and transparency viewed as a democratic stance. Skepticism surrounding Joe Biden's capabilities is seen as a means to ensure a proficient leader. Trump's adept use of satire and political communication highlights the challenge of effectively conveying concerns about opponents' suitability for office. Understanding personal interactions with Biden requires careful analysis to discern potential biases and emotional impacts, recognizing how personal experiences shape political narratives.